and it is Tuesday. We have a fun story for you today. One of our staffers, I'm not going to name any names, um, show producer Stephanie, she was out. She saw this huge, ginormous produce item. Had no idea what it was, but luckily for her, she's been paying attention, and it's jackfruit. The SEL Veg Girl is here with us today because we are making a fun recipe that involves jackfruit. But if you've never seen it, I mean, this is kind of what it looks like. It is. It can be up to, what, 25 pounds? Oh, no, no. It is the world's huh? largest tree fruit. It ranges from 10 pounds to 100 pounds. Oh, my gosh. And you said it's a tree fruit, so is it actually a fruit? Yes, it is, because it does have seeds. Now, it's indigenous to the Philippines. So, Chelsea, next time you're in the Philippines. I know, we just need to take a trip. Let's, let's go. Take a road trip. <laughs> and you find yourself under a jackfruit tree. Be maybe careful. get away <laughs> move, from that. Move away, move away. <laughs> so being under a coconut, being knocked by a coconut, you would think, would yeah. be really hurt. Mm -hmm. would really hurt. But the jackfruit, jackfruit ten times knock you out. <laughs> knock you out. <laughs> well, this is exciting, and you are making a fun, special recipe for us today. It's actually one of my favorite things to eat, so I'm excited that we're making the plant-based version of yes, this. Yes, I love this one. Okay, so first thing you want to buy is you want to make sure that you have a ripe, or mm -hmm. I'm sorry, underripe, okay. pardon me, underripe or green jackfruit. So okay. you want the young jackfruit, the small jackfruit, mm -hmm. the one that does not have any sweetness to it because if you buy, just as uh, our producer Steph saw, that was a ripe jackfruit okay. that you can buy in the produce section. You wanna get the canned jackfruit mm -hmm. in either water or brine. Now, it's, it doesn't look so sexy coming out of the can. No, but it is okay. You yeah, know? it's just, there's not a whole lot of flavor, but then what you can do is steam it so it becomes really soft. And then if you want to shred these last two, you just shred them just oh, like so that. that's so easy. So it's easy. It's almost like pulled chicken or pulled pork. That's exactly right. And that's, a, that's also a very, very common recipe. So then you've got those two. Okay. And then um, what we're going to add in. We're making plant-based crab cakes, by the way. Oh, I wouldn't even say that, did we? <laughs> no. Crab cakes, yeah. One of my <laughs> favorite things. <laughs> we have some spices to make this kind of, well, we want the seafood flavor, mm -hmm. right? So we're going to add in some sushi nori. What I did is I took one of those sheets of the sushi mm -hmm. and put it in a blender so that it becomes powdery or it's Ooh, powder, okay. ground down, if you will. Then we have some, um, we have Old some bay. Old Bay and then some seafood seasoning. So I'm going to add that in there. You want to start Ooh, mashing all that so up. Good. Oh, it's so delicious. And then, so eggs, I don't use eggs mm -hmm. uh, anymore and we know that that's a binder. Mm -hmm. So what I've done is I've taken some ground flaxseed, okay. added a little bit of water and that becomes gelatinous just like an egg. So I am going to add that in there. Ooh, this smells good. It smells like sushi. I'm smelling that, that nice seaweed. Fishy. I'm smelling those Cajun seasonings. Now I'm going to add a little bit of Dijon for you for a little, just a little bit of a kick. Okay. And then I'm going to add in some breading. Now you can add panko or regular breadcrumbs. Get, get your fingers in there, girl. Really mash it together. Get it in there. Uh -huh. <laughs> so just like you're making any kind of like burger or anything like mm -hmm. that, you really just want to knead it, knead it, knead it. And then at this point, what I would do is put it in the refrigerator for about an hour or two mm -hmm. because that change in temperature really helps every, really helps solidify Everything. the mixture mm -hmm. so that it doesn't fall apart when you're eating it. I love that. Well, this smells amazing. I could yep. eat this can you eat it without baking it? So here's the thing, and I always encourage people to try their food while they're making it because there's mm -hmm. no eggs, there's no meat, nothing like that in there. So if it needs a little bit more nori or if you want to put some salt and pepper in there, you can. Either, this, it doesn't matter. That looks like a great crab cake. I mean, come on, girl. Well, faux crab cake. <laughs> what do you call these, Karen? I call them jackfruit crab cakes. Okay, Or you can call them crab, K-R-A-B cakes. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> <laughs> they're Krabby Patties. They're Krabby, they're Krabby Patties. <laughs> oh gosh, my 90s kid is coming out. Okay, these smell so good. And so once you get them all nice, that binder is really working. It does, it works pretty well this time. I mean, it's, I, actually, I don't even know if I would put them in the, in the refrigerator to firm up. You did a really, you're hired. Thank you, thank mm -hmm. you. Yeah. Because I, I don't cook in my kitchen. <laughs> I may as well cook at work, right? <laughs> I love this. Now what do we do, Karen? So then we would, um, we would have had a hub oven preheated at mm -hmm. 375, 15 minutes, flip, another 10, done. Easy. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. That's right, and these are great batch cooking. Um, this is a great batch cooking recipe, so mm -hmm. you can make I mean, you can make a few dozen of them and keep them in the freezer for a while, refrigerator, eat them for the whole week, doesn't matter. So 
you know, cook once, eat all week. Oh, that's a win in my book. Because right? mm -hmm. yeah. when, I, when I do cook, I don't do it often. <laughs> Okay, well, we are going to make some TV magic happen for you. We're going to put these in the oven and cook them, wink, wink. And while we're doing that, we're going to get you up to date and caught up on your news headlines. We're sending things inside of our studio with news anchor Kim Hudson. Hey, Kim.